The project shown in this video can be found in the textbook Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD available from SDC Publications. Now the next thing I want to do is go pick on my home tab here and I want to make sure that I'm on the dimension layer. So I have a layer named Dim and I want to place these dimensions on that layer. So I'm going to zoom in here a little bit closer and place some dimensions. So the first dimension is going to come from the corner of my uh, little cottage here to the midpoint of this three foot wide door. And I know I'm going to have to snap to something in here and I don't have a snap point that would place that dimension right there in the center of that door. But I have a trick and I'm going to show you how to do it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to my dimension toolbar and pick on the linear dimension tool. So I'm going to select that and it asks me for the first extension line. I'm going to snap to the end point right here at the corner of the house. And now what I'm looking for is the middle, the midpoint between this door jam and that door jam. And the midpoint it's finding is not the midpoint that I want there. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold down the shift key on my keyboard. So I've pressed down on shift. I'm going to right click my mouse and there's a tool here that says mid between two points. I'm going to pick on that and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select at this door jam and I'm going to select at this door jam and then I'm going to move my mouse down and, I, and by moving my text, my mouse to the inside, I can place that text on the inside. I'm going to move away from the house uh, the distance that I want, want it to be away. So that could be 2 feet or 3 feet or 27 inches, whatever the setting is that you want and just pick. Now I've placed my first dimension and remember I placed this dimension by using the linear uh, dimension tool. So for my next dimension I'm going to go from this extension line on this dimension to the midpoint of this window. And, and so instead of going back to linear what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to come down here to this tool which is the continue dimension tool. I'm going to pick on continue and what that does is it starts a dimension where my last dimension ended. So all I need to do now is go find the midpoint of that window and pick. And you can see it just put in a dimension of 4, 6. And it keeps me in that command. So I'm going to go to the midpoint of this window. I'm going to snap to the midpoint of that window. And I'm going to complete this line by just picking on the endpoint or the corner of the house and then pressing escape. So you can see that that created an entire row of dimensions. So remember I place my first dimension using linear and as soon as I place it I go to continue which starts at this extension line and just start picking the endpoints or the, picking the midpoints or whatever the geometry is that I want to go to to collect to uh, create the next one. Now I need one overall dimension so I'm going to go back to linear and this time I'm going to snap from the center or the right here where my architectural tick mark is to the tick mark at this end down here and then I'm going to drop down and place a dimension right there. Now I want to point something out to you. I'm, I would like for this to say 18 feet 0 inches and I'm not seeing that here so that tells me that I have a setting that I need to, to check. And so I'm just going to pick right here in my command line and I'm going to type uh, a dimension variable called dimzin, D-I-M-Z-I-N and press enter and it says enter a new value for dimzin and it says it's at 4. I'm going to actually type that to 7, set that to 7, press enter and then I'm going to do an update on that. So here's my dimension update. I'm going to pick on this and press enter and it changed that. So usually you're going to see that 0 anyway but I just wanted to point out to you that occasionally you may not and so this could be a dimzin variable that controls uh, the visibility of zeros. Alright, so let's look at uh, placing some more dimensions on this floor plan. This time I want to put a row of dimensions that runs up the left side of the floor plan. So I'm going to start by picking on the linear dimension. I'm going to snap to my corner. Uh, the next place I'm going to go to is going to be the midpoint of that window. I'm going to move out and at this point I should move out about the same distance uh, that I used when I placed this row down here. And I always check that later and make sure they're exactly the same. Alright, so now I want a dimension from the middle of that window to the corner of the house. So instead of going to linear, I'm going to go back to continue. And at that point all I need to do is go to the corner of the house and press enter. Now that gives me those two dimensions. 
and I should finish off this row of dimensions with a linear dimension that goes again from my, I'm just going to snap from tick mark to tick mark right up here. I want to move out about the same distance that I did on that first row of dimensions that I placed in pick right there. All right, now I'm going to do the same thing across the top of the house. I'm going to start with linear, snap to this endpoint, go to the midpoint right here, move out, pick, uh, go to my continue command, and uh, next place I want to come to is the inside corner of this wall. Pick right there. And then I want to go to this corner and pick. And then press escape. Pick linear again. Snap from my tick mark to my tick mark. Move out. Locate that in the center and pick. And then the last row of dimensions. I'm going to start with a linear dimension. I'm going to start at this corner right down here. Uh, I'm going to go to the inside corner of this wall and uh, find my location. Like again, I want to be out about the same distance. Pick there. Pick my continue option and snap to the corner. Press escape. And then finish this one off with a linear dimension that will go from tick mark to the opposite tick mark over here. Center the text by moving my mouse into the text and pick. And uh, at that point, I have my dimensions applied uh, to this project. Now, there are two dimensions that are applied to the inside, and you would do those the same way, and I've already got those. And so, again, in order to locate this dimension right here, I'm going to delete that guy out <clears throat> show you what I do. I'm going to pick on linear snap to this inside corner and now I want to snap to a point between those two door jams right there so I'm going to hold down shift right click select mid between two points snap to that corner snap to this corner and you'll notice it finds the midpoint between those points I'm going to move my mouse over because I want that text to be centered more like that now if I don't get the text exactly where I want it it's not too big of a deal because when you pick on uh, the dimension you'll see the blue grips and you can actually drag the dimension to where you want it to be you can move the text wherever you want it to be and just pick and move it around and that finishes this video